What's up everybody, it's Comics Addiction coming at you with another video, or another haul. Uh, today it's going to be my 11th comic book haul if I'm not mistaken. So I just want to talk real quick. I uh, went to two comic book stores. My LCS for the third week did not pull all my books, which I missed out on a couple. Luckily I went to another local LCS, which I hate going to. But they have a lot of variants and they have a lot of books. Uh, they focus more on other things than the books themselves. They have a lot of other things like Funkos and Magic and whole other card events, which is fine, good for them. You know, I'll I'll pick out through their books and they could go for the other stuff. Uh, one quick other note is one that reminds me of. Doom 143 is, I got my first thumbs down, which my wife actually told me, she's like, oh, it's okay, you know, they just, just ignore them. I was like, I don't care. I really don't. Uh, this is something that I do just for the love of comics. Uh, to show also in the future, my son hopefully when's a little bit older, show what my passion was, which is movies, comics, and gaming. Uh... And another thing, which, like I said, reminds me of Doomsday, uh, Dooms, I'm not gonna edit this, Doom 143 is, if I got my first thumbs down, means I'm doing something right. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's just start. I picked up Amazing Spider-Man 800, there were so many variants at this store, there's at least 12, and some were regular price, but regular price for... This book, Amazing Spider-Man 800, was $10, so you try picking up 15, 20, and you're going to pay a lot. <laughs> you pick up 15 of them, you're going to be down, oh man, you're going to be down 120 roughly, not including tax. So the only other one I picked up was, like I said, this gorgeous Delato cover. They had the regular variant, and that was 125 the only issue I had is that it was a massive ding right here, and I was like, I can't pay 125 And I told the guy, I was like, will you take less because of the damage? And he said no. So, I mean, it is what it is. Somebody purchased it. That's, that's fine. I'm not going to argue about that. They have to make their money. It's not their fault. The, the book got damaged in process of shipping. Um, picked up the regular Alex Ross cover, the Amazing Spider-Man 800. But my favorite one out of the, all those was actually the seven ninety nine second printing. It is so creepy. This little hee 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 hee. Yeah, just as creepy as that time. That's how creepy that little kid looks. <laughs> uh, one book that I did not pick up. Hopefully you guys might pick up. I wish I could show it. Like in the screen or something. As you can see, my hands just go... Um, was Lockjaw. Uh, I heard it was a fun story. Issue number four. There's like a big fight and they're jumping realms. And in one of them you can see a red cape. And the... Uh, I believe it's the Lasso of Truth for Wonder Woman. And they're like, uh, you're trespassing. You need to leave now. <laughs> it's just a logo. I thought it was interesting. So I decided to throw them in there. Um... Picked up Spider Gwen number 32, the Deadpool variant. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 19, Renew Revals. Man, I want to go Spider Man run, huh? The Wolverine Evolution, True Believers. There's like three of them, but I thought that one was the only one that looked pretty cool. I also picked up Barrier number 5. I believe that's the final issue. Uh, Last one I read was number two, so gonna make it my priority to read the last three in the next day or two. Uh, the Thing and the Human Torch, well, Marvel 2 and 1, number six. That's been a really surprisingly good story for, for Marvel. Uh, no Justice, Justice League No Justice, number four. The Man of Steel. 
Uh, technically, it's the second story he does for Superman, uh, Brian Michael Bendis. But uh, his first official issue is this one right here that I know. If I'm wrong, go ahead, correct me. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I found this cover. I love this cover. It reminds me of Jaws right here. He looks so realistic just looking up. And if that was Jaws and not Jabber Jaw, <laughs> that would be over. I think Aquaman, that would be his last final time in the water. <laughs> Then we got a Doomsday Clock number five. That's just an awesome cover right there. Once in a while, if I see a cover that I really, 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 really like, I will pick up two. Uh, rarely, if ever, do, I might pick up three just to give my friend one once in a while an extra copy. So I picked up two. Doomsday Clock number five. Just an amazing cover. And I think that was it for my... Yeah, that was it. As I said, guys, uh, I'm starting to cut back on a lot of my regular books and starting to collect more of the older books. Uh, I found these on the 50 cent bin, and I couldn't say no just because I like to see how back in the day comics to now in day comics are completely different. So just remember, these books are from the 70s, 77 and 76 how these books were okay back then or if they try to show it now they're like, uh, well i think this one would still be okay i'm not sure if it would be a big no-no you got the it's a joe kubert uh cover you got this poor little kid uh just hiding with a little puppy which i'm not sure if this tank's about to crush him it looks like this tank's going this way and this kid's about to just get turned to rubble. I found it hilarious right here. The keep going slim faster before that kraut tags us. The damn kraut. Talking about the Germans, of course. Uh, this is definitely a no-no. Somebody would try to print this today and this would be the title. They'd be like, no, we're, we're, we're not supporting this. We're not printing this. We're staying. We weren't, wouldn't even poke this with a hundred... Yardstick. Weird Western Tales number 43 starring Scout Hunter. So long, Redskin. Rest in pieces. Ha 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 ha. That's... <laughs> That's pretty interesting. <laughs> like I said, I mean, even the football team people are complaining about how they're called the Washington Redskins, which it's a whole other dilemma I will not get into. But this book right here, the whole starring scalp hunter, I'm guessing it's, I don't know, it's just a, a no-no, as I said. You wouldn't know DC would not publish this nowadays. Especially him saying so long, Redskin. Uh, then I picked up a couple of back issues, and uh, I, I don't know if I would call it a key issue, an interesting book. Uh, this is a Kyle Baker Special Forces. Actually, this is not the interesting book. I just thought this was cool. I want to read it. Fantastic Four, number 395, guest starring Wolverine. I wonder if those claws would actually go through him. The thing. Uh, the Secret Defender, Spider-Man, Doc Strange, Scarlet Witch, Captain America. Look cool. I want to read it. This one is really cool. I've never seen this. I've heard of the title, but I never actually found one until now. Flaming Carrot Comics by Dark Horse, number 27. This looks like the Ninja Turtles, and this is the Flaming Carrot with, of course, the, the whole fire. The inside of the book looks really cool. Whoa. See the flaming carrot with the turtles. Cowabunga! It's, I was reading a little bit, kind of skimming through it. I'm going to reread it just to pay attention. It, it was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, this is a Sal Bu Busema, Busema. I'm 
chopping his name right now. Spectacular Spider-Man number 150. Looks, that was cool. Uh, I'm a big fan of What If. So this one is a What If Cable Had Destroyed the X-Men. It's part, I don't know. It's like a clean cut, not even a tear. So that's fine. I just, just like I said, I'm a fan of What If. And I just want to collect them to read. Uh, X-Men number 36. I believe this is the first appearance of somebody there. I picked it up. I've never seen this book. If you guys have seen it, just let me know. This is a John Byrne uh, Critical Error Issue is called. Uh, J. Scott Campbell, Gen number 13. I mean, Gen 13, number 5. I picked up Planet Hulk number 1 from Secret Wars. That was actually a pretty cool book, storyline. I would say the last issue just... And it ruined it. Um, let's see. Once again, I'm a big fan of what if, so what if the Hulk had become a barbarian? Uh, Wolverine, you always know him as the action star. You always see him as kicking ass and that. But this is an issue where you see it and you're like, oh, I could see how people fear him or might be terrified. Look at this. Imagine you see him coming at you from the dark and he's bloodied up and got the claws. Now that's somebody you'd be terrified or just looking at. Another one I picked up was, uh, this is two bucks actually, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, number 130. Such a cool cover. It says, and from the darkness, death. And then there's the Mighty Thor, number 391. I really love this cover. Gonna give it a read, see what it's about. But you got the creature called Mongoose and appearance Spider-Man. It had to happen. I picked a, this is a dollar. I figured, you know what, let me read it. <laughs> this book's actually pretty funny. The whole thing of, apparently, she fell in love with somebody. I don't want to give it away, let's just say, uh, she has sex with somebody and then she's like, wait, is, is your penis glowing? And he's like, yeah, wait, I thought I was the only one who had this issue. There's something that happens that every time they have sex, it's it's just colors and everything, explosions. <laughs> it's a trippy book. Uh, this is uh, 7 to Eternity number one, Image First, also $1. I purchased this book when it first came out. And I never sell books. I, I'm a, I, I'm a hoarder pretty much. I have, um, I keep all my books, but for whatever reason, I sold this one when they got hot right away to, well, I'm addicted to comics. This one got up to like ninety hundred dollars. I was like, oh, let me sell it. I sold it, shipped it, and actually, when I sold it. I left it on top of the car, took off driving, dropped it on the street, and it somehow did not get damaged. And I think it was a sign of the comic book telling me, don't, don't, don't send me, don't shit me, don't sell me. And to this day, I regret that. Uh, the book has gone really cheap, it's like 30 bucks, 20 bucks, I think. It, but it was my copy, you know, that I sold, and I felt terrible to this day, uh, so, if it's a book and a story that I really love, I refuse to sell it now. I'm not going to sell it. I picked up World's Finest number 158. It's a really cool cover. Though. Just the colors that really stand out. Like I said, Silver Age Dave got me into Silver Age, and now I'm sticking to Silver Age. <laughs> the bright greens, the orange, the purples. Um... Got Death of Captain Marvel by Jim Starlin. I'm glad to finally have this book. It's huge. I didn't know it was this big. Uh, this is the first time Marvel character died of natural cause. Well, technically natural cause because he had cancer. There's what are you supposed to do? You can't beat cancer, especially if it. I mean, if it's super advanced to the point where that villain gave him that that radioactive. I, I'm going to read it. I heard it's an amazing story, so I can't wait. I'm excited. And finally, 
my most exciting book. I couldn't wait to show you guys. You guys uh, have seen this TV show. I love this TV show. One of my all-time favorites. I could watch the reruns over and over. Dun, 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 dun. Married with Children. Oh, man, I have never seen that book. The minute I saw it, I picked it up. It was like a buck. I was like, who cares? It's a dollar. It's Married with Children. Such a classic show. Al Bundy, Peggy. Just, if you guys have seen the show, you guys know what I'm talking about. Classic show. So, that was my haul, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Love talking to you guys. So, until next time. Later.